हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अक्षिता यो एजुकेटर आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ स्पर्धा परीक्षा बाय ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन एज वी नो फ्रेंड्स ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म हैज लॉन्च अ कंप्लीट सीरीज फॉर अपकमिंग सीटेड एग्जामिनेशन व्हिच विल बी हेल्ड इन डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वी आर डीलिंग विथ मैथमेटिक्स पेपर वन इन टूडेज लेक्चर नंबर एट वी विल डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ऑन द मैंसुरेशन बिफोर मूविंग इन टू द वीडियो फ्रेंड्स आई लाइक टू टेल यू दैट इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सीटेड पेपर वन For that also mathematics paper 1 series has already been launched you can go and check the playlist and watch all the videos and boost your preparation nextly moving into the video friends i'd like to tell you that the central teacher eligibility test which will be held in december 2022 for that complete course has been launched for paper 1 paper 2 so following features will be provided to you in paper 1 full syllabus theory lectures will be provided practice multiple mcqs mock test full syllabus notes in the form of pdf will be provided and the course fees is just of 2000 rupees okay so if you have to score maximum marks in the examination as well as want the guaranteed selection in the examination then this course will be very much beneficial for you go and download the global online app or contact us on this given whatsapp number for enrolling to the course moving to the paper 2 course complete course for paper 2 for central teacher eligibility test 2022 following features will be provided again with the full syllabus theory lectures practice multiple mcqs mock test full syllabus notes and course fees is again of just 2000 rupees now this course friends i would like to tell you that if you want to completely relay on us completely relay on our videos and sources then this course will act as a one stop solution for your seated preparation you need not to follow any different kind of notes or sources or in different coaching for the preparation okay so basically go and download the global online app similarly contact us on this given whatsapp number for enrolling the course now for the students who are going to opt for paper 1 and paper 2 both okay for them also following features will be provided a compiled course in which full syllabus theory lectures practice multiple mcqs mock test full syllabus notes in the course fees of just 3000 rupees this is a golden opportunity friends the global online platform will act as one stop solution for your central teacher eligibility test preparation okay similarly you have to go and download the app in the following steps very first thing go on the play store search for this global online app okay you will find such icon over here install it after installing you will move to the page called uh you will move to such interface okay here you will find an icon called as store click on store icon moving to the pages called courses here you will find a search tab okay in this search tab you can search for seated and in this following courses will be displayed to you for paper 1 paper 2 and paper sorry compiled paper 1 and paper 2 so this courses along with the fees will be displayed you can simply enroll to the course and boost your preparation for your seated okay so friends in today's like we will discuss the questions regarding the mensuration okay मैंसुरेशन के क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करेंगे आज यस्टरडे वी हैव सीन टिल ट्रपेजियम टू डी स्ट्रक्चर्स वी वर सींग राइट सो लेट इज डिस्कस दैट इन डिटेल अगैन सो इन यस्टरडेज लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस द ट्रपेजियम वॉट इज ट्रपेजियम इट इज बेसिकली अ क्वाड्री लैटरल विथ वन पेयर विथ वन पेयर ऑफ पैरल अपोजिट साइड वन पेयर ऑफ पैरल अपोजिट साइड्स आर देर ओके ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन दैट द पैरल साइड्स द पैरल साइड्स ऑफ द ट्रपेजियम आर कॉल्ड एज बेसिस okay the parallel sides are called as bases and the non parallel sides non parallel sides these are called as these are called as legs or trapezoids isko hum kya bolenge legs and trapezoids at the same time we have seen that uh, shape of the trapezium what is the shape of trapezium it is actually a polygon or a closed shape we can say with four sides there are four sides four corners or four vertices we can say okay vertices and four angles okay this is all the thing that we have discussed regarding the shape of the trapezium nextly what we have seen was different types of trapezium okay in trapezium we have seen three different types one was isosceles okay one was isosceles trapezium another one was scalen trapezium okay scalen trapezium another one was right angle right sorry right trapezium what we have seen in the scale so scalar trapezium that opposite sides opposite non parallel sides non parallel sides were equal in length equal in length non parallel sides were equal in length what we have seen regarding the scalar triangle we have seen that all the sides all sides 
ओके ऑल द साइड्स इट मे बी और एंगल्स आर डिफरेंट ठीक है ऑल द साइड्स ऑफ द ट्रपेजियम ऑल द एंगल्स ऑफ द ट्रपेजियम मे जस्ट डिफरेंटली दिस वॉज अबाउट द स्केल एंड ट्रपेजियम नेक्स्टली राइट ट्रपेजियम इन राइट ट्रपेजियम वॉट वी हैव सीन इज दैट एट लीस्ट एट लीस्ट टू राइट एंगल्स शुड बी देयर एट लीस्ट टू राइट एंगल्स शुड बी देयर विच आर एडजस्टेंट टू इच अदर ओके एडजस्टेंट राइट एंगल्स शुड बी देयर ओके दिस इज द थिंग बाय दैट वी हैव लर्न नेक्स्टली वी हैव सीन रेगुलर एंड इरेग्युलर ट्रपेजियम ओके नेक्स्टली वी हैव सीन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द ट्रपेजियम इन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द ट्रपेजियम आई हैड आई हैव टोल यू दैट दैट सम ऑफ ऑल द एंगल्स सम ऑफ ऑल एंगल्स इन केस ऑफ द ट्रपेजियम इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री दिस इज वॉट वी हैव सीन नेक्स्टली वी हैव सीन दैट वॉज सम ऑफ एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स सम ऑफ एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स In some of adjacent angles, what we have seen that some of adjacent angles is equals to one eighty degree. This means two angles are sum of adjacent angle is equals to one eighty degree. Okay, and as I told you, uh, we'll discuss also in the geometry. Whenever the two angles' ka summation is equals to one eighty degree, it means that the angles are supplementary angles. This is supplementary angles. So basically, the sum of adjacent angle is equals to 180 degree it means that the uh, these adjacent angles are supplementary to each other okay this we have seen nextly we have seen the trapezium formulas what are the trapezium formulas we have seen the area of trapezium to find the area of trapezium what we have done is to find the area of trapezium what we have done is we have we will consider here one trapezium okay this was the area of trapezium okay sorry for my handwriting because i am just uh, trying to draw the summary which we have discussed yesterday trapezium ka area okay trapezium area to find the area of the trapezium what we have taken was the average of the bases what were the bases i, I have told you bases are the parallel sides okay this is for example a this side is b this is for example side c and this is for example side d okay in case of uh, isosceles trapezium the uh, uh, c and d side that is the two non parallel sides are equal we should know that okay so in case of area of trapezium what we do area is equals to what we take is we take the average of the bases now what are the bases over here a and b is the bases okay these are called the bases so what we take the average of the bases that is a plus b divided by 2 okay we take the average of the bases and we multiply this with the height or altitude okay so the area of the trapezium it will be h into h into a plus b divided by 2 okay and what was the uh, unit we have used here square unit square units was the unit that we have used here and what are what is a and b over here a and b are bases these are the bases and h is height or altitude okay this was all about the trapezium ka area whenever we are taking the area of isosceles trapezium what we will do is as we know the opposite sides the opposite sides are equal sorry regarding the perimeter i wanted to tell you right so uh, let us discuss about the perimeter now now we know what is perimeter perimeter is basically the sum of up all the sides over there okay so basically what are the sides over here a b c d are all the sides so perimeter is equals to a plus b plus c plus d okay this is the perimeter now what is the perimeter for isosceles trapezium perimeter for isosceles trapezium what we will take as we know in isosceles trapezium the two non parallel sides that is side c and side d are equal so what we will take here both the sides as x x okay so what we will write in case of the perimeter of isosceles trapezium what we can write is a plus b plus 2x we can take like this so this were the things that we have dis discussed in yesterday's lecture so today's lecture we will discuss some of the questions now okay now let us go in detail in for each question i'll explain you the very first question now in this very first question what is given let us look at the things that are given into the question first thing okay 
now find the area of the trapezium we have to find the area of the trapezium okay area of the trapezium in which the sum of bases is given bases it means that sides the sides that are parallel to each other as i told you the sides that are parallel to each other are called as bases so here the sum of the bases is given 40 cm and we have and the height is given we have to find the area okay how to go through it and for that we'll draw a trapezium over here to understand okay this is the trapezium so in this trapezium the what the what are the things what are the given what is the given data over here the sum of the bases is given basically for example this is side a this is side b this is side c and this is side d okay so sum of the bases that is a plus b is given a plus b is equals to 40 cm as we know base side matlab kaun si side the a and b wali side means the side that are parallel to each other unka summation is given is equals to 40 cm and height is given okay height is given this is the height height mane altitude okay this is the height given over here h for example if we take this as h a minute please okay this is the height this is the height this is h altitude so h is given that is height is given here 20 cm we have to find the area now what is the formula that we know area is equals to area for the trapezium is equals to height into height into the average of the bases okay that is half of a plus b so how to find this put the values now 20 cm sum of the sum of the bases is already given to you that is 60 sorry 40 okay divided by 2 right so this is given what we have to do is we have to find the area what will be the area now this will be 20 and this will be 400 centimeter square okay unit square units will be the unit over here right therefore the area of the trapezium is equals to 400 centimeter square this is how we find the question so answer okay moving on to the next question now in the second question we have to find the perimeter of the trapezium and sides are given now we know the formula we know the formula for the perimeter what is the formula for the perimeter we know that in case of perimeter what we have to do is we have to just take the summation of all the sides for example this is side a this is side b this is side c and d okay we have to take summation of all these sides right so how we will do is a plus b plus c plus d is nothing but the perimeter of the trapezium so 7 centimeter plus 5 centimeter plus 6 centimeter plus 4 centimeter is equal to what is equal to the perimeter of the trapezium now 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 10 plus 5 is 15 15 plus 22 22 centimeter okay so this is the perimeter of trapezium in this way we have to find the perimeter of the trapezium okay these are some basic questions now look at this question now question number third here the perimeter of the trapezium is given that is equals to 60 centimeters okay and the majors is given for non-parallel sides the major for non-parallel side is given which is equal to 10 centimeter okay non-parallel sides are given to 10 centimeter each basically though non-parallel sides hote and both are 10 centimeter and the altitude is given that is 4 centimeter we have to find the trapezium's area now to calculate this let us understand this via figure okay here what we have what they have given is the height they have given the height okay which is 4 centimeter and what they have given is perimeter perimeter is already given that is a b c d for example is the a b c d is the trapezium here okay here value of the perimeter is given it means that a plus b plus c plus d is given that is equal to 60 centimeters okay this is given now if the non-parallel sides for example b and d is the non-parallel side okay so b is equals to d is equals to 10 centimeter as they have given 10 centimeter each we have to find the other two sides right now the second thing is uh sorry and the altitude is given altitude is h is equals to 4 centimeter okay we have to find the area of the trapezium okay now 
very first thing what we have to do is we have to find this two sides that are not given over here that is side a and side c ki value hume find karni hai, okay so value of a will be a plus b plus sorry 10 centimeters okay value of d is again 10 centimeter is equals to 60 centimeters okay this is what is given so we'll get the value of a plus c is equals to 60 centimeter minus 10 centimeter it means that 50 centimeter okay this is the value of a plus c what is a plus c now a plus c is means what a plus c it means that it is it is the summation of the basis summation of the basis of the trapezium okay now we know the formula for area of trapezium area of trapezium in area of trapezium what we know is half of or we can say altitude into average average of the basis right so what is the height height is given to us height is given is uh, 4 centimeter okay so 4 centimeter into here the basis is a plus c okay a plus c so i can take instead of b here i'll text a plus c okay so what is the sum of the basis 50 centimeter divided by 2 it means 2 2 za 4 2 5 za 10 okay 25 4 za it means 100 100 centimeter squares is the area of the trapezium okay in this way we have find what was given once again i'll discuss here the perimeter of the trapezium was given okay whenever the perimeter of the trapezium is given and two uh, sides ki value is given okay then we can directly find out the uh, value of area of the trapezium and with the given altitude okay what was given here the given thing was the two these two sides that is non parallel sides ka value was given that is 10 centimeter and 10 centimeter right and what was not given here the value of the value of the opposite sides parallel opposite sides value was not given so a plus c that is summation of the basis is equals to 50 centimeter we can calculate so summation of the basis divided by 2 into the altitude is the area of the trapezium and we can directly put these values in the formula and find the area of the trapezium in this way okay this was the question of one cat type okay nextly the pages are finished i'll take over here now the next question look at the next question now look at this question what is given here if the area of the trapezium is 100 centimeter square and one of its parallel side is given is 8 centimeter we have to find the other parallel side okay and altitude is given now let us understand this via figure i'll draw here one trapezium okay i'll draw here one trapezium in this trapezium in this trapezium one of the parallel sides is given for example this is the parallel side for example 8 centimeter i have taken this a b c d and one of its parallel side is 8 centimeter second thing is given over here is that we have to find the this parallel side we have to find this parallel side and the thing given is the altitude the thing given over here is the altitude that is 6 centimeter okay this is the value given over here we have to find the area of the trapezium and now we know the area of the trapezium is area of the trapezium is equals to height into half of or we can say a plus b that is sum of the basis divided by 2 okay average of the basis right this is the formula now what we have to find what if what we have to find here area height is given okay some of the basis is not given over here because a is only the side given b is not given here right uh, also we have to find sorry we have to, uh, an area is given sorry area is given already we have to find the side so basically how we can find this now area is equals to 100 centimeter given over here height is given height kya diya hai? 6 centimeter okay into one of its side is 8 centimeter let the other side be x centimeter this side be x centimeter okay so i'll take 8 plus x divided by 2 okay so what will be the answer over here 
we can directly get the value of x from here once again i'll tell you the area of the trapezium is given 100 centimeter square okay and height is given that is 6 centimeter basically next one side is given 8 and other side is given x okay let us consider it as x and 2 so try to solve this and we'll get the answer or answer and the value of the x okay basics are so you uh, ye calculation hai, wo karke dekho, answer a jayega x ka i'm just trying to tell you that kis tarike se questions exam mein aa sakte okay these are the types of question that can be asked now moving to the next type of question now look at this question the area of the trapezium is given that is equals to 600 centimeter square and its parallel sides are given in the ratio of 3 is to 5 and the perpendicular distance is given between them that is 12 centimeter we have to find the length of each of the parallel sides to understand this i'll draw one trapezium over here okay look at this this is one trapezium now in this what is given area is given 600 centimeter and the parallel sides ka ratio is given parallel sides that is basis okay here consider this as 3x and this as 5x these sides as 3x and 5x because the ratio is given here and the perpendicular distance between them is equivalent to 12 centimeter okay that is the altitude okay that is the altitude distance between the parallel lines this is nothing but the altitude that is equals to 12 centimeter we have to find the length of each one of the parallel sides we have to find the length of the each one of the parallel sides to understand this very first thing what we will do will find the area so what we will get through area is half of half of 3x plus 5x or we can take this as 3x plus 5x divide by 2 into 12 okay area is given it is given 600 okay 600 is equals to 8x okay this is equals to 8 2 6 12 okay so here 600 600 is equals to 8x into 6 i'll take this 6 on this side then it will get multiplication ka division may convert ho jayega right so 8x 8x is equals to 100 okay so x is equals to 100 divided by 8 okay this will be 100 divided by 8 okay now this is a uh, number that is like uh, taken so weird because uh agar ye number actually yaha pe number completely divisible nahi hai okay the area of the trapezium is given quite weird actually yaha pe dena chahiye tha 800 basically a jayega isse bhi answer but wo point mein chala jayega if we take 800 I am taking this because ye, uh, calculation ke liye simple lene ke liye maine yahan pe liya so thik hai yahan pe liya 800 so basically kya aega this will be 8x sorry not 800 600 I'll take this as 600 I am so sorry why I am taking this because to simplify the calculation still for aapko type of question samjhane ke liye I am taking this okay so this is 600 centimeter square is the area over here what we will do is 600 divided by 6 is equals to 8x okay so 8x again is equal to 100 only okay so this will be x is equals to 100 divided by 8 something is missing over here okay so i have made some changes over here i have taken the area of the trapezium why i have taken this to make just the calculation simple basically i don't want to take those in points and all calculation waise bhi chalega but yahan pe i have taken this just to show you kis tarike se this type of question I have to solve kar sakte, right so basically area I have taken as 384 to make just the calculation simple once again abhi ye mat bolna ki ma'am ko calculation nahi aata hai just I have to show you what kind of questions can be asked right so yaha pe aega 8x okay 8x right 8x divided by 6 as it was into 6 so 6 yaha pe jane ke baad what will be the equation kya chala chala jayega 8x is equals to 384 divided by 6 therefore x is equals to x is equals to i can take this as 64 this becomes 64 right so x is equals to 64 divided by 8 this is equals to 24 centimeter okay this came 24 centimeter now this is the value of one side right this is the value of the side now we have to find the length of each of the parallel sides now we know basically how much sides are given here 
ओके टू साइड्स आर गिवन एंड वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो टू फाइंड वन साइड दिस वन साइड ओके दिस वन साइड थ्री एक्स सो थ्री एक्स कैसे फाइंड आउट करेंगे थ्री इन टू एक्स इज एक्स की वैल्यू क्या है ट्वेंटी फोर दिस विल बी द वन साइड एंड अदर साइड विल बी फाइव एक्स फाइव एक्स इट मीन्स दैट फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर इट मीन्स थ्री एट जार इज सॉरी एक्स इज नॉट वॉट आई एम डूइंग टूडे आई एम सॉरी एट एट जार सिक्सटी फोर आई एम सो सॉरी एस सो सिक्सटी फोर डिवाइडेड बाई एट इज इक्वल्स टू एट सो द वैल्यू ऑफ थ्री वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स विल बी एट वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्स इज एट सो टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ थ्री एक्स वॉट आई विल डू इज थ्री इन टू एट दैट इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर एंड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव एक्स दिस इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव इन टू एट ओके फाइव एट जा फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर so this is how we calculate the values right of the sides therefore the length of the parallel sides is equals to 3x or 5x it means that x ki value to aa gayi it means this is equals to 24 cm and this is equals to 40 cm in this way we find the value okay this was the thing that we have to keep in mind now this was one kind of question now uh, some of the questions are again left actually let us solve this okay let us solve this no problem uh, okay Let us take this in next next lecture because lot of questions have been left again on trapezoidal two three types of questions again we have to check in the three D structure so one one more part will be uh, uploaded on mensuration that is part I guess five okay today's uh, part was I guess part four so one 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 more part is required for completing the mensuration or mensuration is a topic of high weightage. Four to five questions have been compulsorily asked in each year from this topic. So this was at end of today's lecture. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked my video, do hit the like button. Okay. At the same time, you can subscribe the channel for more such videos. And also, if you have any kind of doubt. और इफ़ यू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ सजेशन रिगार्डिंग द वीडियोस, ओके किसी भी प्रकार का डाउट हो या सजेशन हो और कुछ भी एनरोलमेंट रिगार्डिंग या सब्सक्रिप्शन रिगार्डिंग इफ कोई डाउट्स होंगे देन यू कैन डायरेक्टली कमेंट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड इवन इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो आल्सो यू कैन कॉमेंट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिकॉज दिस सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक लाइकिंग द वीडियो सब्सक्राइबिंग द चैनल इज समथिंग नॉट is also profitable to us no doubt but at the same time it boosts us so that we can make much more videos for you guys okay so this was end of today's lecture thank you for watching it once again i'd like to tell you that for subscription you can contact us on this whatsapp number for enrolling the course okay so thank you for watching your uh, watching the video and i wish you all the very best for your preparation and uh, stay tuned for more such videos and have a great day bye